The creators of Stranger Things have expressed their regret over killing off a new character in the first episode of Season 4. If you guys don't know what we are talking about, then watch this video till the very end. Well, seven new episodes of the popular hit sci-fi fantasy landed on Netflix in May 2022. This basically served as the first volume of the current run. The two final chapters titled Papa and the Piggyback are planned to be released on July 1st. In Episode 1 of Stranger Things 4, viewers were introduced to famous Hawkins High student Chrissy Cunningham, who has been played by Grace Vandian. In the series, we can see Chrissy, who is experiencing disturbing visions and other forms of psychological torment. While attending school counseling sessions, Chrissy meets up with Hellfire Club leader Eddie Munson to purchase some medicines. She is later acquired by the sinister villain Vecna, who brutally kills her in Eddie's caravan. Now, Stranger Things creators and showrunners Matt and Ross Duffer have said that they were possibly wrong to end Chrissy's story so quickly. In an interview with TV Line, Matt said, We always have those moments where we say, What have we done? We shot the code on code deal scene in the woods pretty late while shooting. Ross claimed that they had already killed Chrissy when they shot that scene. The scene came alive in a way that was quite beautiful. The Duffer brothers went on to compare Chrissy's premature exit from the series to the similarly gruesome exit of the much loved character Bob Newby from season 2. Matt said when they killed Bob in season 2, they didn't want to do that. They had fallen in love with both the character and Sean Austin, and Sean also didn't want to die. We know the writer didn't even want him to die, but it looks like that both Chrissy and Bob could be set to return in some aspect. He said that they will find something else to do with Grace and something else to do with Sean too. Earlier this week, Stranger Things officially became Netflix's most watched English language TV show. The Duffer brothers also confirmed that season 4 will be the last season of the show. Matt Duffer told NME in a recent interview they do have an end in mind. They are sure a lot of things are going to change, but for now, it's the end. It's just one of those things that you come up with and you go. That's it, that's right, that's inevitable, that's what it has to be. Well, Volume 2 of Season 4 of Stranger Things will keep the trend of underlining very long episodes, but this time it will be breaking the mark of the two hours. However, the second half of Season 4 only counts two episodes. Fans of Stranger Things will have almost four hours of television time to chew upon as the series follows the battle between Vecna and Eleven. In Volume 1, Stranger Things had already raised the limits of how long a series can be by featuring multiple episodes more than one hour and 40 minutes. Volume 2, however, will go beyond this mark. The eighth episode of Season 4 will have only one hour and 20 minutes, while the ninth and final episode boasts around two hours and 20 minutes. That's right, we are living in a moment in time where TV episodes are longer than most movies in theaters. The trailer of Stranger Things Season 4 Volume 2 has hit the screens and it's everything the fans believed it to be. This includes thrilling, gorgeously epic, emotional, and shocking. Vecna is back to claim more lives and our fantastic gang of kids and a few teenagers are all set with a big plan to give him a hard time in the Upside Down. The trailer opens with Dr. Martin Brenner informing Eleven that she is not prepared to save her friends from Vecna, but she insists on helping her group and leaves by saying it. We see many shots of everyone from the group including Mike, Will, Jason, Dustin, Lucas, Steve, Nancy, Max, and Robin preparing themselves for their mission after Vecna makes shocking threats and the kids get exposed to the biggest danger of their lives by far. One of the many scenes from the trailer that has lived with the fans features Robin, who is played by Maya Thurman, telling Steve that it might not work out for us this time. In the next few scenes, we see Max, Lucas, and Erica arriving in the haunted house that belonged to Vecna as a child. We see Eleven using her strength against the same flower painted glass door at the house, Robin getting stuck in the roots at the upside down, Max once again being ambushed by Vecna, Eddie passionately playing his guitar as he's sending a signal to either Vecna or to his team, and Jim Hopper being assaulted by the Demogorgon again in Russia. As it has been disclosed in the media, the fans shall expect few characters to die this season during their endless battle with Vecna. The trailer definitely hints at many emotional moments with Eleven 
once again getting prepared to sacrifice everything for her friends while Mike and Will share a warm hug. The last two episodes from this season will premiere on July 1st and the fans have definitely got their homework done for the same. There are many theories floating online regarding Vecna time traveling in the past to stop Eleven from becoming so powerful in the first place. Many theories also recommend the one from Steve or Robin might just die by the end of this season. Whatever it is, you can come back to our channel to know everything about Stranger Things Season 4 Volume 2. What are your thoughts on this video? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. See you soon! Thanks for watching!